What's the mood this morning, Jake? Well, Gretchen, this morning, it is the first day of school, and despite everything that's going on, it's just as exciting as any other year. People are, are, are not only pumped to be back in the building, we've got administrators pumped to welcome students back, and the weather's not hurting anything either. It's an absolutely beautiful day. It feels more fall-like than it does at the beginning of August. Uh, we have uh, parent Jim Schrader with us this morning here to talk about the first day of school. And, and, and Jim, you actually have a really interesting story. The history of modern day kind of continues with your twins who are starting their first ever day of high school as freshmen today. It's really neat. My grandma was the first part of the first graduating class, I think back in 1950, 1949. My dad and his, his siblings went through and my wife and I graduated in 95, 96. And so as I realized this morning coming in, I said to my kids, they're the oldest of all that cohort of cousins that they are part of the fourth generation this morning. So it's pretty neat. It's a beautiful morning to be out. And so yeah, it's neat to see four generations now coming into the halls of modern day. And I don't think any generation would ever have pictured the first day <laughs> looking like it does now. For you as a parent prepping over the summer, knowing your students were coming back to school, I'd imagine you may have had some concerns. I mean, how do you feel now with, with them being in the building at school? How are you going to feel as the day goes on and you head to work? You know, honestly, I mean, there's a lot of things that are unknown and everything carries risk, but we're just really excited for them to be back at school. It's a great opportunity just to be able to go to high school, get into the freshman year and kind of get in the swing of things. And every day, we don't know what that's going to bring for sure. But honestly, I think our kids are excited to be back. We're excited. And I think it's just great um, to have this group back in. And I guess my next question for you is the idea of, uh, of having multiple kids in school. You have kids who are going to be at a younger elementary level as well. Um, things will be changing constantly for your family. And it may not be the entire district. It may just be their specific school. How is your family planning for the year, uh, school year wise, I guess, to prep in case something happens like it did in the spring? You know, honestly, one day at a time. Our family's big enough. We have eight kids in general, and I think one day at a time we kind of come home, we reassess. But we have to, you know, I just applaud the administration here at Modern Day and Holy Redeemer and all the other schools that are coming back because it takes thousands of hours of preparation. And so we really have great trust in the school that they will make the best decisions possible, and, and we'll live and we'll just deal with what comes. So. Well, thank you, Mr. Schrader. We appreciate your time this morning. Gretchen, we'll send it back to you in the studio. We'll join you once again at Modern Day High School in about another half hour.